Signing up for an Amazon Web Services account only takes a few minutes. Registration involves five steps, including creating an Amazon.com account, providing contact information, including name, phone number, and address, entering billing information, verifying your account, and selecting a support plan. All five of these steps can be accomplished in just four minutes, and once completed, you can spin up a virtual machine with Amazon EC2, create an Amazon S3 bucket for your storage needs, or begin using any of our other AWS products. To get started, simply click on the Sign Up button at the top of any AWS web page. Here, you will be prompted to either log in with an existing Amazon.com account, or you can select New User, as we will for this demonstration, and type in an email address you would like to use to log into your account and receive email communications including the monthly AWS newsletter. As a new user, you will be asked to re-enter your email address and select a password. Both your email address and password will be used to log in to your AWS account. The second step in creating your AWS account is providing general contact information. This includes your name, company name, address, and phone number. You will also need to check the box acknowledging that you accept the Amazon Web Services terms and conditions. Please click the link provided and read these terms before proceeding. After you have read through the terms and conditions, if you agree to them, check the box acknowledging your agreement and then click continue to proceed with account registration. The third step in creating your AWS account is providing payment information. You will only be charged for products you use, and during your first 12 months, you will be able to try many AWS products for free within the AWS Free Usage tier. Although creating your account is free, and any usage within the AWS Free Usage tier is free, we do require payment information at this time to allow you the ability to immediately use all AWS products when you complete registration. The fourth step in creating your AWS account is completing phone verification. Using the phone number you provided earlier, we will call you and you will then be prompted to enter the PIN number provided on the screen into your phone. If you would like us to call a different number than you originally provided, you may change the number we'll call. Once you have entered the PIN provided, you will move on to the fifth and final step in creating your AWS account. The fifth and final step is selecting an AWS support plan. There are four AWS support levels including basic, developer, business, and enterprise. Basic support provides 24-7 customer service, access to support forums, and other technical documentation including white papers and best practice guides. Developer support includes basic support features and also email access to technical support with response times of less than 12 hours. Business support, which we recommend, includes all of the features of developer support, plus phone, chat, and live screen sharing, a response time of less than one hour, and AWS Trusted Advisor. Enterprise support includes all features of business support, plus direct access to a technical account manager, white glove case routing, and management business reviews. Basic support is free and pre-selected. If you'd like a different support option, select it and press continue to finalize your account registration. If you'd like to stay with basic support, just click continue without making any changes. Congratulations, your AWS account is now created. To learn how to use a virtual machine using Amazon EC2 or how to use Amazon S3 for your storage needs, we recommend watching our other Getting Started videos.